this video we're going to look at pressure. Pressure is the relationship between the force applied and the contact area between two objects. If this man was to go out and walk in the snow, it would be much more suitable for him to wear skis than to go on a pogo stick. The reason is, whenever he stands on the skis, the skis, his weight, the downward force, is spread out over a larger area. In other words, there's less pressure on the snow, so he doesn't sink down as far. Whereas on a pogo, pogo stick, um, whenever he stands on it, his weight, the downward force, well, it's concentrated on a very small area. So he's going to sink down into the snow because there's a high pressure, a very high pressure. So pressure is calculated by force divided by area. So if we take the force and divide it by the area, we'll find the pressure. Now, if we look at this formula, we can multiply both sides of the formula by area. And that will give us that force is equal to pressure multiplied by area. So the pressure multiplied by the area will give us the force. And finally, if we look at this formula, we can divide both sides by pressure. And that will leave us with area. And we'll find that area is equal to force divided by pressure. So the force divided by the pressure will give us the area. So pressure is equal to force divided by area. Force is equal to pressure times area, and area is equal to force divided by pressure. And that's it. Pressure is measured in newtons per meter squared or newtons per centimeter squared, depending on uh, what the sort of the context is of the question. The force will be measured in newtons, and the area is usually measured in meter squared or centimeter squared. And it's also useful to know that one meter squared is equal to 10,000 centimeters squared. Um, you quite often will have to convert between meter squared and centimeter squared, and it's useful to know that one meter squared is 10,000 centimeters squared. So pressure is equal to force divided by area. Okay, let's have a look at three exam questions. So firstly, a crate is placed on the floor. So this crate is placed on the floor. The crate exerts a force of 3,500 newtons on the floor. The area of the crate that's in contact with the floor is 5 meters squared. Find the pressure exerted by the crate on the floor. So pressure, well the pressure is equal to force divided by area. So the pressure will equal the force, which is 3,500, divided by the area, which is 5, and that's going to give us 700. And the units for the force will be newtons per meter squared. And that's it. So the pressure that this crate exerts on the floor is 700 newtons per meter squared. Next. So our second question says a box exerts a force of 90 newtons on a table. The pressure on the table is 1,500 newtons per meter squared. Calculate the area in centimeters squared of the box that is in contact with the table. So then in this question we're trying to find the area. So the area is equal to the force divided by the pressure. So the force is going to be equal to 90 and the pressure is equal to 1,500. And whenever we do 90 divided by 1,500, we get that's equal to 0.06, so 0.06. Now, in terms of our units here for our area, if you notice that the, uh, the force was in newtons and the pressure was in newtons per meter squared, so that's gonna be in meter squared. Now, our question asks us for the area in centimeters squared. So one meter squared is equal to 10,000 centimeters squared. So what we need to do is to change this from meters into centimeters squared, meters squared into centimeters squared, we need to times it by 10,000. So 0 0.06 times by 10,000 will give us, whenever we times it by 10,000, that will give us 600. So the answer is 600 centimeters squared. And that's it. And our last question. The cylinder below is placed on a table. The pressure exerted on the table by the cylinder is 1,500 newtons per meter squared. Work out the force exerted by the cylinder on the table. So in this question, we're trying to find out the force. So force, well, force is equal to pressure times area. Pressure times area. So the force is equal to, well, the pressure is 1,500, and that's newtons, newtons per meter squared, times by, now because we're working in newtons per meter squared, we want the area in meter squared. Now, in this question, you can see we weren't actually given the area, but we've been given a picture of the cylinder. So the area, well, if it's placed on the, on a table, if it's going to be placed flat on the table, the area is going to be the area of the base of the cylinder. So we want to find this area. So as you know, it's a circle, so it's going to be the area is equal to pi r squared. So we're going to do pi times the radius, which is 7. You can see from the top it's 7, so 7 across there, so 7 squared. And pi times 7 squared, well, pi times 7 squared 
is equal to 49 pi or 153.93804 centimeters squared. Now remember that centimeter squared. Because our pressure is in meters squared, we're going to need to convert this centimeter squared into meters squared. So let's divide this by, remember it was 10,000, one, uh, one meter squared is equal to 10,000 centimeters squared. So if we divide this by 10,000, we'll get it into meters squared. So divide by 10,000 will give us 0 0.015393804 da, 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 meters squared. So what we're going to do is we're now going to put that into our formula uh, that the force is equal to 1,500 times by 0 0.0153 and so on. So we'll times that by 1,500 and we've got an answer off the force is equal to 23.1 newtons. That's it. So the force exerted on uh, by the cylinder on the table is 23.1 newtons. And that's it.